What would the fox say? Now you can find out if you join our book club, Pax, and have a rollicking rendezvous with Pax the Fox and a little boy named Peter. Hi, my name is Pax. I was the luckiest fox in the world because I had the very best friend a fox could ever ask for, a boy named Peter. If not for Peter, I never would have survived. We've been together since I was a newborn kid. Peter and I always thought that nothing in the world could separate us, but we were wrong. You see, when Peter's father went off to war, Peter had to go and live with his grandfather, and I was left abandoned on the side of the road, watching as they drove off, leaving me forever. Will I ever be reunited with my best friend again? Read my story, Pax, to find out. And here's an excerpt from the book, When the Fox and His Human Peter are separated. The father grasped the fox by the scruff of the neck. He opened the door and strode to the edge of the woods. The boy followed. The father set down the fox and the fox bounded out of his reach. The father pointed to the woods. The boy looked at his father for a moment, tears streaming down his face. He reached into his pocket, withdrew the fox's favorite toy and hurled it into the woods. The fox streaked toward the woods without looking back at his humans. If he had, he would have seen the boy wrench away from his father, heartbroken, and crossing his arms over his face, and the fox would have returned to him. Please join me, Mrs. Gutierrez, Miss Stuchkis, and Mrs. Bucknam to read Pax. <laughs>